For most people, being off-grid and generating your own power, you need to be as efficient as possible. But for this family up in the Lancashire hills of England, it's the opposite. They need to try and use as much power as possible. We use around 160 kilowatt hours a day. It's over 60 megawatt a year that we use. In this video, we find out how this family business cut their ties with the grid, along with their expensive connection demands, and switch to a self-sufficient Victron energy system. Plus, later in the video, we find out how they use Node Red inside the Servo GX to control all their equipment. So we, we repair vehicles on site with, with four ramps on site that are, are in constant use. Uh, we've got exhaust extraction in, in the garage, uh, we've got the tyre machines, the compressor. There's a livery yard on site. There's heating in the stables as well. There's an arena with uh, floodlights. We use a lot of a lot of power. Jonathan has lived here with his family since 1985, but the Waltons' journey towards an eco-friendly work-life existence began in 2014 when they invested in the wind turbine for around £85,000. They allowed us to put in a 20 kilowatt turbine of a certain, it had to be three bladed and it had to meet certain other visual criteria, which we did no problem. The British government created a scheme to encourage people like the Waltons to install and use wind turbines. The scheme paid for every kilowatt generated, regardless if it was sent back to the grid or used locally. The more kilowatts generated, the more money the Waltons earned. Originally, we fed into the grid, but we had the problem that we only have a single phase connection. So we only had, we could only feed a maximum of six, six kilowatts back to the grid, and the rest was actually burned off on site and in effect wasted really. We, didn't, we couldn't use it. Um, and then of course, when the wind stopped, we were back to drawing off the grid at whatever price it was at the time. And so, although we did see a big improvement with the, with the wind turbine, it wasn't, it wasn't being used to its full uh, capacity. As wind turbines only work when there is wind, the next option was to supplement it with solar and battery storage. But this plan also faced obstacles when they tried to implement it. We wrote to Electricity Northwest, basically bounced a few ideas off them about how we could possibly get battery storage, you know, connected. And they, they were willing to do it, but it, it would have involved a three-phase connection uh, at our expense. It was around forty thousand pounds was the was the cost. We, we quickly realised that that would pay for quite a lot of uh, battery storage. And once we do, you know, once we looked into that, we, we realised that we could basically give us so much freedom, in that we could uh, we could basically do what we wanted with the system, and we could make the best use of of all the electricity. It was at this stage that the Waltons decided to completely cut their connection to the grid. I knew that we needed a lot of storage to go off grid. When I did my research. Uh, people were talking about around four days of, of, um, of storage. We just couldn't do that. It wouldn't have been viable. But we quickly realised that with the turbine as well, it cut down on the storage that we'd need. So we then looked at the at, at pylon techs and, and decided that that was the way to go. Put the quattros in and we got everything set up and then basically just did the switch, switch to, uh, you know, switch the the grid supply off. For such an energy dependent business and domestic location, this was not without risk. But thanks to Jonathan's thorough research and his decision to go with Victron Energy Equipment, they were confident they could generate all their power all year round. I knew he'd do it and I knew he'd do it to perfection. Once he sets his mind to something, he does it and he does it perfectly. 
So what exactly has Jonathan added to the existing setup to make it a viable off-grid system? Well, for starters, he's bought four Victron Energy MPPTs in order to charge the new lithium batteries more efficiently than the PV inverters that were previously installed. He's also now added three 15 kVA quattros configured in parallel as the garage had already been operating on single phase. Then they've added 30 Pylon Tech US3000 and US3000C batteries and each has 3.3 kilowatt hours usage storage. They have a fuse negative and positive before being run to the main bus bars. All of the kit is housed in a bespoke plant room. Remember, the more usage they take from the wind turbine, the more money they get from the government scheme. To achieve this, Jonathan is using the Node-RED software that's built into the Serbo GX to control lots of equipment. When the batteries get to 85%, we switch on an immersion heater. When they get to 86, we switch on another one, and so on and so on. And basically, we stop the batteries getting to 100% so that it keeps the wind turbine generating. And the way that that, that works is that Node-RED is, is looking at the, at the BMS and saying, right, the battery's reading 85%, I need to tell that relay on that relay module to switch on, which will then switch on the first dump load. When it gets to 86%, it will say, right, switch the second relay on on, on that, that module, and so on and so on. If there is no wind and not enough solar, and the batteries go down to a set state of charge, the servo will then activate a backup generator. But even here, Jonathan has ensured the method of use is as renewable as possible. We run the generator on waste vegetable oil. We get the waste vegetable oil from, from restaurants, from local restaurants. Uh, we bring it to the site, we bring it to the farm, we filter it, we strain it first of all to, to get the, the, big, the big lumps out of it. We then dewater it, um, we filter it, let it, we let it settle, we filter it, we put it through a centrifuge and then we store it in the bulk tanks. Even so, the vegetable oil powered generator has seldom been required, contributing to just 4% of last year's electricity supply. There is no way that we would ever want to go back to, to grid. It does work. We don't have any problem whatsoever with um, fluctuations in, in current, or it, it just works. It, it's the security, not relying on anybody in, in any way. We, we can go about our, our business, our, our lives, and we don't rely on, on, on any services fr 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 from anywhere. Moving forward and having realised his dream of living and working as sustainably as possible, Jonathan has ensured his home and business are well powered, well heated and well insulated from any rise in energy prices. We were so impressed with Jonathan's setup and knowledge of Victron Energy Systems, he is now a Victron Energy distributor and we have included a link to his Burwain's Energy website in the description below. Jonathan and his family decided to cut their connection to the grid but for Vanessa and her husband Bruce, they struggled to get a grid connection. Click on the link to find out how they saved over £100,000 in their dream home build.